Is the Enneagram real? Do you believe in the Enneagram? Do you use the Enneagram? What's your Enneagram sign, star, number guy? You're going to get this a lot, but what I always tell people with the Enneagram thing is, yeah, it's totally real. It's great. Usually not what they're expecting, but that's why it's so fun. All right, so is the Enneagram real? Does it work? Well, let's look. You have thousands of people out there that love it. They have videos. They'll talk about it, teach it, help each other, write about it, and will absolutely swear by it. Now let's look at their life. They were in a hard time. They were trying to figure themselves out, trying to get through some pain, and it's done wonders for them. So you're going to tell me to tell them that that's not real? No. Now, does that mean that it's objectively trackable, scientific, backed up with tons of research? No. Does it really claim to be? No, not as far as I can really tell. Now, the Myers-Briggs, on the other hand, that's where they got in so much trouble, is they claim to be scientific, but then never came out with any studies, numbers, backing. When all the scientific community criticized them, which you're supposed to do in the scientific community, Myers-Briggs just cried and ran away and said, you guys are mean. So we'll be talking about the Big Five later, but like, you got the Enneagram, Myers-Briggs, and the Big Five. Guess what? None of them are claiming to be perfect. But why does the Big Five get so much praise? Because they're playing by the rules. If you want to be a scientist and go, hey, my numbers aren't perfect, but I'm trying, like the Big Five does, people are like, great. So the Enneagram seems to be a little bit more honest with, yeah, look, we're not pushing some big scientific breakthrough. Now, a lot of people will get into the Enneagram because Myers-Briggs is lacking, rightfully so. What, 16 types? I think there's 16 different people in the world. Go sit at a mall and watch people go by and tell me how many different kinds of people you see. Carl Jung said this, it's on a video on YouTube. He said something to the effect of like, there could be 360 personality types for all he knew. Now he's just throwing that number out there referring to a circle, so it wasn't taking that quite literally. But he was saying, guys, there's more than 16 combinations. So the Enneagram, in my opinion, and from what I've heard a lot of people say who are really into the Enneagram, is that the Enneagram is trying to kind of fill a void that Myers-Briggs has kind of left. Because people are like, oh, I'm this Myers-Briggs type. Great. But here's all these other aspects in my life that these stupid personality profiles don't cover. How do I deal with all this fear, all this pain, all this insecurity, all this trauma? So here's a quick example, then we'll get out of here. My brother called me a while ago and he's like, hey, we're doing this personality test at work. And I'm like, oh, great, here we go. That's what I'm thinking, right? And he's like, oh, it's the Enneagram. I'm like, right, great. He's like, so I know you're all science personality guy. What do you think of the Enneagram? And I thought for like one second, I'm like, this is not the time or place in a personal call to get all nerdy about the science of this shit. And I just said, it's great. Well, good, because me and all the guys at work, we already taken the test and I know what my number is and, and my profile and the guy, Bob, and he's this and, and we're that. And we've had all these great discussions and, and these are all a bunch of big, strong guys. And it's like, oh, wow, I'm glad I didn't shit on it because he's already used it and had a positive experience from it. The Enneagram allowed these rough, tough, strong, antisocial guys that have been around each other for a long time to finally have an emotional, honest conversation with each other. This is happening to people all around the world. And you can't go in and take that away from people and say, it's fake, it's dumb, it sucks. And they're going to walk away from you like, I don't know what the hell, man, but that brought a lot of goodness to me and my pals. Now, the downside is, a week later, they ain't talking about it. They're back to beating each other up and everyone's a jerk again. But long term, some of that stuff does stick. So here's how I see the Enneagram and all the different personality groups like it. It's a two-sided coin. It's subjective versus objective. And if you use the right tool for the right job, everything's fine. If you're using a subjective tool like the Enneagram and Myers-Briggs for personal growth, no harm, no foul. But if you're trying to say that it does something more than it actually does, you're kind of now out on a limb all on your own. If you're claiming it to be scientific, yet there's no scientific backing, no scientists back it, and you're not bringing any scientific research yourself, you're going to probably get beat up. So the Enneagram is filling a void of people that are wanting to go, look, all this psychology stuff is great. How can I apply this to my life? How can I grow? How can I get better? So is the Enneagram real? Sure. It's subjectively real. If you read the profiles like I have and identify with them and it gives you some good wordings and insights and understandings and people you can talk to about some issues in your life and grow and get better, great. Now, is it objectively trackable? Is it scientific? No, not really.